How do you walk in the shoes of a student? What are they perceiving? Um, I, I work with teenagers and um, as an adult, I, I always have to think, okay, I've gone through this many, many times. For the student, this may be the first time they're going through this experience. Shadowing is different than a walkthrough, a look for, an observation, an instructional supervision experience. After a while, they kind of forget you're there. I personally um, implemented off the playlist um, shadowing a student. Um, it was very eye-opening for me as far as um, you know, being really in that ground level and experiencing the student's day. You know, Ian Juke said uh, we need to prepare students for their future and not our past. And when you shadow a student, and I imagine what they saw is that you're time traveling. You're traveling back in time, present time, and future time. And my first um, shadowing was such an eye-opening experience for me as a school leader that all the professional development things that we've been doing we're not really getting into the classroom. They relax into whatever they are. So they relax into being a, a teacher that talked for 80 percent of the time. Um, they relax into giving students work that they've designed that the students had no part of. Or they relax into the fact that they're an awesome teacher who's walking around the classroom and, and, and giving the agency of the learning to the student. So actually, I tell that teacher, you know what, no matter how fearful you might be, how excited you might be, that you're going to forget I'm there and that you are going to get into a rhythm because I'm there for longer than you've ever had an administrator or a colleague in your classroom before and you've got your other kids and you've got what you've planned. And then we feel there's a really powerful role for not just one, we think the more people involved with the school community who shadow students for a day, principal certainly, but maybe an innovative and a more traditional teacher, maybe a parent, maybe a student or two shadow another student, but have these different people with very different perspectives go through the school day in the shoes of a student. But looking at it from the point of view of where are kids getting positive reinforcement on skill sets and mindsets we think they really need to develop, what's going on that's sort of neutral to that? and maybe what's going on that could be actually diminishing what's important. So you're seeing the life of your school, uh, snapshots all over, you're just seeing it, you're hearing it, you're feeling it, and you're realizing the work that you have ahead of you. You're realizing that you have some teachers that are still in the 20th century and they don't know why, how, or what it means. And then you're seeing these other teachers that, that know you're there, they're not performing for you, but they're certainly looking out for you and making you feel welcome and part of their journey. And they're trying to show you that they care and that they're excited about uh, project-based learning, they're excited about inquiry, they're uh, excited about Socratic seminar. They're, they're trying to show you on that one day that they're willing to take risks and they're preparing their students for their future and not the teacher's past. That's the amazing thing about shadowing, is that you really get to see your school and your teachers and your students as you really can't any other way.